Hello and welcome to another video from RL. In this video, we're going to show you how to remove the capacitor from your APT coaches. So we're going to take it from this to this, which is much better. So if you want to learn how to do this, stay tuned. Trailer unclassified coaches here. Uh, they're very nice coaches, but unfortunately they have that internal lighting, big honking capacitor um, on one end. Uh, you have a couple of options of where you can put it. Um, these coaches are actually open on the ends, um, which is how they're pretty typically um, set up. The doorway is actually uh, inside uh, the coach there. Um, so you have a couple options for putting a capacitor. Uh, this is the capacitor. I've actually yeah, already taken it off for this one. Uh, you can fit it here, um, and then it has a very short distance to go uh, to the connection point, or you can also fit it um, under the seating right there. It'll fit uh, right in there, and I'll just show you. Um, it will fit like so in there, and fits in there pretty easily. Um, so I will probably... Um, put them under the seating uh, it's probably cleaner the two ways however um, it will require some additional work because you got to run the cable uh, from here and down through here you can't just run it through the same um, gap that it's being the wire is being used for because from the bogey because you'll mess up or interfere with the tilt mechanism there's also a ball joint right there um, which is part of the tilt mechanism and you're not going to be able to run the cabling through the first set of wire or seating. So you have to run through the second set of seating, which means you're going to have some wires that could be visible uh, coming down here um, and then along the, the seating, depending on the angle you're looking at it. Um, so I'm going to probably work around that problem, probably 3D print some parts uh, to hide the cabling and also uh, decorate the interior. I do have two sets of these, um, the original, um, you know, without the black band and then the, the later one with the black band so um i have a bunch of these coaches so if i'm going to be taking them apart i'm probably just going to detail them and that's just my own choice um so in this video what i'm going to do is uh, show you how to uh, prepare the capacitor how to get the capacitor out and um, then i'm going to show you um, how to connect it up for today i'm going to wire it in here because it's uh, the easiest bit to do and uh, without me needing to 3d print anything um, I do have some stuff on the 3D printer um, that is currently printing, and I'll show you that in another video in a couple of days. All right, so um, what I'm going to do now is just uh, move on to the next part of the video, showing you how I got the capacitor out and how I prepared it um, to be reinstalled like so. Um, so let's uh, move on to that. Um, so what we're going to do is, first of all, check that the um, thing is heated up, which it appears to be. And uh, what we're going to do is apply some heat here to the capacitor. You want to be real careful uh, not to damage it. Um, so I'm just going to apply a little bit of heat. And since this came from a factory, it's probably going to take a little bit of effort to melt it. Let's see, it's starting to go. Might actually uh, turn the temperature up a little bit. I'm gonna crank it up to 400. Just give it a few seconds. Okay, I'm gonna give this a shot. Right. 
trying to make this so it's now they, unfortunately they haven't soldered it on the underneath so um, the only way to do this is to try to get this and I was trying to do it so it's flat um, which kind of might get a little tricky to see it on the camera if I'll put it off to the side um, try not to hit the LED here yeah there we go it just melted there you go And I'm going to do it to the other side. Oh, I'm just realizing you're not probably going to be able to see that. prongs out and I'll try to do it in a way that you can see it on the camera it's kind of tricky because I'm not I'm right handed so it kind of wants to if I can do it this way I can sort of see it now Here we go. So we've got the capacitor out. So we're in in a little bit of a better shape than we were at the start. With. All right. So you can see here um, the capacitor has this uh, gray stripe down the end, and this donates the uh, negative side, and it came out here on the negative side of the board. So we're just going to use um, a black wire uh, that we're going to solder back onto here and a uh, red wire that we're going to solder back onto here. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make sure um, that this fits. Now, I actually did cheat. Um, I did buy additional capacitors and made sure they fit in there before I started playing with the board. But um, what we're going to do is we're going to clean this up a little bit. Uh, when you are wiring uh, wires or soldering wires to the capacitor, um, you do want to do it on the inside of the uh, pins. And uh, that way you don't have it touch the metal um, outside of the uh, capacitor and have it cause a short. Um, so what we're going to do next is uh, grab some wire and um, figure out the length that we're going to use for this. So the wire I'm going to use today is uh, 22 um, EWG. Um, it's a little bit thicker. Uh, than the wiring uh, that's in the coach, um, but I think this is substantial enough um, that it's routable. It's also um, solid core, so it's a little, I have a little bit more flexibility in, in how I can shape it and stuff um, when I run it inside. Um, I've also picked up some shrink wrap, um, so when I'm done with this, I'll probably, when I've got on the capacitor, um, we'll shrink wrap it onto the capacitor. If you're not familiar with shrink wrap, it's basically just a kind of, um, material you put over the um, wire and you kind of apply heat to it with a um, heat gun like this and um, you just kind of a hair dryer basically and it'll it'll melt and kind of shrink onto the wire and or and basically um, you know insulate it so it's um, pretty handy all right so probably the biggest problem that we're going to have is you know when we put this back on the coach um, we're gonna to want to run the wire in such a way that it's not really too visible um, when you turn the lights on, uh, which means needing to run the wire as close as possible to the edge here, down and across. Um, now there's no interior detail um, of the doorways right here, so uh, it might be a, a good time to look at maybe hiding the wire through that or something like that, maybe 3D print something that gives that kind of doorway impression, but We'll see. 
for now I'm going to go and um, do some measuring uh, with the wire uh, so we'll do that next. all right so what we're going to do next is basically uh, solder the wires um, back onto the capacitor and uh, we're going to solder two new wires we're going to solder a black one onto the negative side here and then we're going to solder a red one onto the positive side and you can tell that it's the negative side because it's got this uh, gray bar down the side and it's got a big uh, negative uh, symbol in it and what we're going to do is if you look at the uh, capacitor uh, the capacitor itself is metal um, so what you don't want to do is short um, the wire against the metal um, outside of the capacitor so we're going to solder the wire on the inside of the pin um, so if you're looking at it there uh, we're just going to solder the wire on the inside so what I'm going to do is uh, grab my trusty solder iron here and the capacitor and we're just going to melt the existing solder that's on there and you can see there it came off pretty easily and we're just going to rub it back and forth like this um, and what this is doing is basically just tinning um, the pin and what I'm going to do next is put that aside take some solder you can see here I've got the wire with the uh, metal stripped back here and I'm going to just solder add some solder onto it this is called tinning and all this is going to do is prepare the surface uh, to make it easier to connect like so I'm gonna clean that off and then all you do is simply apply a little bit of heat to the capacitor and to the wire and they should pretty well much mold together and just smooth that out a little bit like so and take the heat away wait a few seconds and you're good to go and you can see there I've got the wire on the inside of the pin so the next thing we're going to do is uh, just take a length of uh, red wire and do the same thing uh, so I've got the red wire here so I'm just going to quickly measure about the same length cut that off now the tool here I'm using is one of these uh, T-Rex style uh, clips and so what you do is just um, put it in so far and then clip and pull back like that and then just do a little bit more like so, and just straighten that out a little bit. If I flick it around this way, and do the other side like this. Like so. All right. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to swap wires. So this is already attached to the capacitor. So I'm just going to bend that down. Now I'm using a solid core wire and the reason I'm using solid core wire is that it will make a better connection and I also don't have to worry about uh, stresses and stuff like that potentially uh, causing it to pop out later. And so I'm going to do the same thing uh, if I pull this back. Uh, hopefully you can see this. Um, but basically I'm going to go and just tin pin on the capacitor like I did last time and hopefully can use the wire to try to keep it propped up as well and then what we're gonna do is just take um, some solder here to the red wire and just tin it slightly you don't need a whole lot of solder just enough to just tin the surface of it like so and let's clean that off Alright, so next what we're going to do is the same thing as last time, so I'm going to tilt the wire in like this, and I'm going to take the pin of the capacitor, put it on the inside, and then just heat it up, like so. I may not have put enough solder on this.
like so. All right, so now that we have that soldered together, the next thing we need to do is um, apply some shrink wrap. Um, obviously, we don't want this to short out. Um, so what I'm going to do next is get the shrink wrap and um, show you just how to use that. Okay, so this is the uh, shrink wrap. Uh, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, we're just going to take it and run it down the wire and get it over the solder joint with the capacitor like so. And I'm going to take the other side and do the same thing. Like so, you can see there, it now has created completely covered so those electrical connections are not exposed. I'm going to move anything out of the way that could potentially melt. I'm going to take this wire um, thing here and I can probably move it closer to the camera. I'm going to try to do both at once if I can, but you also don't want them to melt to each other. Um, so I'm going to turn this on, crank it up. As you can see there, it's um, shrink wrapped on there uh, really nicely. That's uh, good to go. So what we'll do next is um, we'll go and install this into the coach. And um, then once it's fully installed, we can go and um, solder uh, these two ends uh, to the light board. All right, so hope you found that part of the video useful. And uh, what we're gonna do next is uh, just finish this up um, by wiring it back in. Um, so what we're gonna do is wire uh, the red wire here on the left and the black wire on the right. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is tin this. Um, so we're gonna get the soldering iron and some solder and I'm gonna go ahead and tin the wire. And um, I'll try to do it here in front of the camera if I can. Uh, now I'm trying this new position with the camera, so hopefully you guys are finding this useful. I'm kind of just doing this while I film, or while I actually do this for myself, so um, hopefully the film comes out okay. If it does not, let me know. Um, I can always change the camera angle. If you have any ideas of how to make this better, just let me know. That's appreciated. Um, yeah, I already know how to do this stuff, so this is more just to help you guys out. Uh, if you're interested in learning how I do it. So you can see there I've tinned that. Uh, the reason I've tinned that uh, and all tinning is is just using um, some regular solder and touching it against the wire. That's just to get it um, into a position where um, I can solder it onto the board. And one thing I need to be careful of is making sure that there's not too much solder on the end or it's not going to go into the uh, hole on the circuit board. Um, so I'm just cleaning this up with the soldering iron. You can see here it's relatively easy to do. And I may have to use the solder sucker if I've kind of tinned these too much. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick check to make sure these still fit in the hole. Yep, the red one does. And of course the black one does not. So I'm going to have to clean up, melt the solder a little bit, just to narrow the wire. And it's pretty straightforward, just take the soldering iron and just kind of go back and forth like this, just to clean it up. That should work now. Just 
retest it in the hole again. Okay, so what we're going to do next is I'm going to put um, the red wire first into that hole like so. I'm just going to pull it out, so I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going to pull it out slightly and so that there's something to solder to. And there's already a pad there, so you just have to be super careful that you're only soldering it onto the pad. And so we're going to get the solder. The last thing you want to do is break the, um, the LED board doing this. And um, should go without saying, this probably will void your warranty warranty, so if you don't feel comfortable doing this, um, don't do it. So I've got red wire in, make sure it's on the right side. And what I'm going to do is just move that wire out of the way. I'm going to do the same thing the uh, black wire, so it's going to bend that, put it not quite all the way through. I'm going to leave a bit of a gap so you have something to solder onto. And it should be good. If you ought to see it better if I do it that way. And very carefully touch that solder. If I do it this way, you won't be see it better. There we go. All right, so there you can see we have put that in there. Back it out just a little bit, you can still see it. All right, so next up, um, I've got a little bit of an extra pin on the side, so I'm gonna take a pair of snips. Like, such as these. And I'm just gonna Snip these as close as possible to the board. Like so you can see there, it's all good to go. And then what we're going to do is position it in place like so and retouch the board. And you can see there, the capacitor is quite happy and snug in that section right there. So what I'm going to do is uh, reassemble this and um, see how it looks. So to reassemble it, um, the first thing I'm going to do is put the board, this may be a little tricky, um, I'm going to put the board back in here. And as I suspected, it's going to be a little tricky. Uh, you can see there. It does, however, fit pretty well. Now I just have to find the screws for this. I believe it was these smaller ones. So I'm going to screw the side in first. And take the other one. I did have to separate the wires. Uh, you can see there. Maybe if I tilt towards the camera, um, I did have to just separate the wires a little bit so I can get the uh, screw in there. So. so that 
that's all secured. Um, now I'm going to take the two screws that hold in Oops. the carriage part, the seating. So now I need something because uh, there is a metal uh, screw there and I don't really want the metal screw uh, touching against uh, the capacitor. Um, so I do have these little round stickers. I'm going to get one of those and uh, set it on top of that screw head just so that there's no chance of it shorting out. So let me go grab that real quick. Okay, so I've got one of these um, color coding labels. Um, like so. And I picked out an orange one. I didn't have any red or marine ones but should work okay and so I need uh, a screwdriver to do this and might be tricky to do this on camera but you can sort of see where I'm going with this um, see there I've got the sticker on the bottom there and hopefully that will stop um, the capacitor from shorting out against the thing and so what we're going to do is just uh, reposition it Do is just put it on the bottom of the capacitor. It's probably one of the smartest ideas, but so put it on the bottom of the capacitor. Right. So one of the problems that you're gonna have with doing it this way is your capacitor is going to sit um, at the back there. Um, so that might be okay for you. Um, personally, I think I'm going to go and um, put it, as I said, in the um, bottom part of the uh, coach here. Um, but you can see there, it's no longer um, visible. And it's not really visible uh, through the side there. Um, but it is visible uh, in the end there. Um, now, I guess if you had some corridor connections between the coaches, it wouldn't really matter. Um, but there isn't typically a door or anything here. The reason this is open is because I believe the door uh, between the coaches is actually uh, recessed in a little bit where the, the seats ended uh, after doing a little bit of research. So um, I might go with this option with the corridor connections, and print some in TPU. Um, but I think an easier option and maybe a better long-term option is to um, detail the interior a little bit more and um, route um, the wiring into the underneath of the carriage here. Um, however, what I will do is I will clip it back together like so. Um, hopefully it does clip back together a bit, uh, which it does. Um, so just no ill effects from there. Um, there is... A, with the capacitor, um, it might light bleed um, through the side here. I'm actually holding it down. Um, so I'm going to put the screws back in it, and then we'll go uh, run it. Well, not run it, but go co put it on the layout and um, see how it goes. Okay, so I put the uh, screws um, back in on the underneath here, and you can see there it's no longer um, sticking out. So I think it should be fine in terms of. Um, being put together. Um, now, of course, you still have the capacitor uh, sticking out the back, unfortunately. So, it's probably not the best approach, but it's certainly going to be the quickest 
and the easiest one. Um, so if you want it quick and easy and you're not too worried about the capacitor sticking out the back of it, then this is the way to go. Um, like me though, I'm going to go and move it to the underneath the carriage. And like I said, um, I picked up some additional capacitors um, so that I could do that. So, okay, so let's go and uh, put it on the track and uh, see if it still works. Okay, so we're over at the layout. Um, so what I'm gonna do is uh, push this down here and then turn it on. And yep, we have lights. So let's pan that past the camera there. And you can see that there's no longer a capacitor. So it looks pretty good. So, and what I'll do in an upcoming video, uh, once my uh, 3D printing is done, is uh, go and show you how to route that um, to the underneath instead of the uh, side. I'm not quite sure if the extra weight here um, will have any impact on the tilt mechanism. It doesn't appear to. Um, I'm moving it back and forth here and it's not uh, losing lights or anything like that, so it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Uh, what I will do is move the camera uh, maybe a little bit so if I um, if we tilt the camera that way I can get the uh, full effect. I'm not sure if I have the top from my tunnel here. I don't think I do. Otherwise I'd show you in the dark. All right. Well, what I can do is I can turn the lights off down here. So if you give me just a minute, uh, you can see there, there's no capacitor. That looks um, you know, pretty decent. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the lights off um, and hopefully you will see the same effect. All right, so there you have it. Um, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and hopefully you guys will find it useful. I hope it'll help you fix your own uh, APT coaches. Um, like I said, in an upcoming video, um, I will work on getting that routed to the underneath. Um, I do notice that there is some uh, light bleed underneath here. Uh, so I may have to do something to address that as well um, while I've got the things apart. All right, so. That's it for today's video. Hope you found it useful 